In this video, I want to show something I thought was real cool about how basically this you see this rotor set up how the magnets are on the top or the bottom of the rotor rather rather than the edges on the side so the coil is like perpendicular to it and um, that makes it so basically you can put a pickup coil on your on the top or the bottom of the rotor so you can utilize more space uh, also in addition to that if necessary but what I thought was cool was um, if if I take this pickup coil and place it directly across from the run coil like that so they're facing each other then it makes the rotor go faster uh, putting it anywhere else causes it to slow down because of the lens and the cogging but for whatever reason placing it directly across so basically it's inducting from the from the field coming from the run coil as well as the magnets uh... it, it makes the rotor go faster which i thought was pretty cool because in a way it's absorbing the pulse the the run coil is getting and it's somehow causing a push from the other side or it's a pull I don't know but I'm going to show that hopefully I can show that so I'm going to spin it up uh, maybe you'll be able to hear the uh, speed increase I hope so I'm going to try to hold it close as I move it near and far so you can hear the sound. about at top speed. So first, I'm going to try not directly opposite of the run coil and see if you can hear it slow down. accidentally touched the rotor but you can see it, it you can hear it slow down as it lights the LED you hear it slowing down like it should be okay now I'm gonna it's, it's kind of rattling a little bit because the surface is not flat so I'm going to try to hold it down, keep it from rattling. Now I'm going to move it directly opposite of the run coil. Hopefully you can hear it speed up a little bit. It's actually speeding up now. It's lighting the LED bright. And the rotor has gained a little bit of speed. Move it away. Slowly starts to fall back down. Speed wise. Again, see if you can get here.
Well, I hope you can hear that. This camera sucks and the audio sucks. But I thought that was worth mentioning. Um, very interesting concept. A lot of other motors have uh, certain cores where they actually do touch both sides of the rotor top and bottom. But I'm realizing there's a serious benefit to this. I don't know why this occurs yet, but either way, the rotor does pick up speed with this pickup coil inducting on the other side. Very interesting.